going on guys it's your boy Baywolf back at it with another video I checked the radar there's shrimp boats out where do you guys think I'm headed Atlantic Ocean from North Myrtle Beach is where I'm at right now heading up north up the waterway gonna exit out east on the ocean man I had a subscriber show me a couple days ago when he was in the ocean he had a whole pod of dolphins following him I keep on going and I can't find the dolphins. All I keep on finding is sharks, which is nothing wrong with that, but I got my shark feed on just in case we get bumped again. Cause every time I've been going on, I've been having like a shark hit in the back, something. Well, it has to be a shark cause I don't see a dolphin. It doesn't serve me. Sharks tap in the back of the jet ski pretty hard. I mean, you can feel it being hit. And I think they're more coming right underneath like where the prop's at. So it's like more right in that way. So let's cross our fingers, nothing happens, but hopefully we see like nothing bad happens, but let's cross our fingers that we see some dolphins here, some marine life. It's a good thing. I know I checked, I got a little later start, but I checked earlier the shrimp boat, which just came out a couple hours ago. So gave them, I want to make sure there was enough time to get the nets out and going. It's not like they've been going from early morning, so there's a chance that there are going to be more uh, dolphins out because it's not been like I'm coming at the tail end of the day. I'm probably like mid part of the day as I'm shrimping. It's not like I'm going to roll out there and they're done. So let's get jetting down. Let's get mobile. Time to go mobile. And like get down there and see what we see. And I didn't look what the report is, what the waves are out there, which I probably should have. But I was going to go no matter what, so it doesn't even matter. I got my helmet and the storage up front. I'm gonna slap that thing on just a little bit farther down the waterway. Gets a really good steady footage. Let's do it. I don't have to worry about ocean water in my face. And this is the first time I'm taking these boots out into the ocean too, so I'm pretty excited. They grip really well. I want to see, you know, they work good over the weekend being on the waterway. I want to see how they do being out on the ocean. I know a lot of people are seeing comments all saying about the boots, and it's like I why I wear boots, and I've said it in the last video, but the biggest thing too is like where I launched at, you know, they got cotton mouse, got alligators, you got sharks, you got and there's jellyfish. I'm not gonna be in some $10 water shoes, and it's not completely cover my ankle, and I get jellyfish brush up on me, and I'm like gonna be in a lot of pain. It's kind of like, you know, that's why when I go on the ocean, you know, it's like 100 degrees out right now, right? I'm super hot, but I'm wearing a wetsuit got to prepare to what you go for I, maybe a lot of this is from my previous experience with racing or being prepared or being a boy scout before or like when i used to go when i used to live in the midwest i went to go snowmobiling i mean it'd be like negative temperature out there you can't sheep on your equipment you're going out there you make it or break it you can get like frostbite die this is no different going out here i mean there's no where would you go if there was an emergency i keep like um, I'll go do a later video about all my gear, but like in my bag I take with me, I have like a trauma, like military trauma kit with. You know, that'd be going after somebody who got like wounded and stuff, you know, in battle. But I bring that with because first, I don't know if I need it. What if I run to somebody else? There's no ambulance out here in the waterway or out in the ocean. You're all on your own. So uh, it's better to be prepared with the right gear, especially like what if I twist my ankle and then how am I going to get myself back in? You know, especially put away the jet ski, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's like, it, it's better be prepared. And anybody would tell you that races jet skis or goes fast at jet ski, rides hard. I mean, you need the boots. There's no question. So, I see the comments. I'd rather talk the towel back, but it's, you know, everybody's different of the equipment. What? Everybody's different of what they need equipment wise. To me, I rather have the best stuff that's out there to make sure first, A, I get back, B, I'm safe, and C, like, I'm having fun and not getting like, you know, like I got this like back support thing that Jet Tribe makes and it totally helped me having like my back killing me after riding. I mean, I want to come and like, I've been riding four days straight. This isn't like I do this once a month. I ride almost like, you know, the whole entire week. And then actually then I'll be, well, no, yeah, so it's going to be like four times this this past week, not going into this week to be the same thing. So I write a lot. So let's get the video going. Enough talking. Let's start finding some dope.
guys, this is the end of the video. Woo! Man, when am I gonna ever see dolphins? That's my biggest, my biggest thing. It's like, when am I gonna see the dolphins out there? I keep on going and I always like, I don't know, they must be like on a time schedule when they're out there or what. But it's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, the boots are amazing grip. And that's the shark band. But the, no, they really, they really, really gripped. I was very impressed with the boots. A lot better than the CD ones, like really a lot of grip. And I didn't have a lot of feeling of grip because this, this is just so smooth. There's no grip. You gotta look close to this. It's just like, there's nothing. That's a little bit more texture. This is like, that's like kind of like a spray and bed liner. That's just smooth. And then that's smooth too. Then if you look at the other one, see that's kind of like the material that's that down there. But then see how rough it is? Well, it's not rough, it just says it gives you some little grip. Um, so yeah, it's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm back at it with another one. And if you're new to the channel, woo, hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, woohoo, yeah. Thumbs up, appreciate it. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, and let's try to build this big. And uh, I'm covering salt water. And I'm tired. And I will be doing a video of doing the uh, clean down process. I was going to do it today, but it's obviously too dark. I'm still going to like minorly clean them. But tomorrow's video, we thought we'll show how you clean the RXTX, the RXPX 300. Um, show you the whole kind of rundown thing of what you have to do maintenance after cleaning, especially that I was just like in the ocean um, and then in the waterway. So we did four days of riding and I've been riding between both machines. So who I'm beat, but uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video and people be driven to win in life. Don't let anybody tell you you can't become something. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.